Taskmaster has completely changed the way I think about Vibe Coding. It's an AI task management system that breaks prompts down into well-structured tasks, and these tasks make perfect complex apps in one shot. No, seriously, this is my honest reaction. We can, we can edit? Wait, let's see. Holy cow, what? 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 <laughs> you can actually edit. You can actually edit the ingredients. So let's get into it. And before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I've created a fresh Next.js app that will serve as the base of this project. And I'm gonna be using Claude Code, but you can use Taskmaster with any AI agentic tool. So after globally installing Taskmaster, run this command to initialize a project with Claude rules. I'm gonna hit no because this doesn't work with fish shell. I'll hit no here because I already have a Git repo and I'll choose yes here. If this is the first time you're setting this up, you might get asked to select models. Since I'm using Claude Code, I'll just set generation to use Claude Code Sonnet, research to use Opus and the fallback to also be Sonnet. But if you ever forget your model choices and your connected API keys, you can run the taskmaster models command, which will show you your selected models as well as the API key status and all the other models that Taskmaster supports. Once the process has finished, you should have a new .claude directory in your project, which contains a bunch of Taskmaster Claude slash commands, a .taskmaster directory, which contains the template that we're going to use for our PRD document, as well as the configuration for Taskmaster, which we can use to change models, and also add some Claude code specific options. There's also a .env example file for if you want to add optional API keys, an MCP JSON to use the MCP server in Claude code, and finally a Claude MD file, which has a link to the Taskmaster Claude MD file. But more importantly, you should have a list of next steps in the terminal. Make sure to copy this or leave the tab open because you'll need it later. We won't do the first step because we're using Claude code. For the next step, we have to create our PRD file with AI, save it in this location, and use this as a template. So I have a prompt MD file in the project for creating an app that you can drag images of a recipe and it will use OpenAI to extract the recipe ingredients and nutritional information from the image and save it in IndexedDB as a recipe card. I've told it to use example prd.txt as a template and I've asked it to save the final PRD file in the scripts directory. We'll ask Claude Code to run that file. And now we have our main project requirements document with an overview a list of core features, some user personas, key user flows, and much, much more. From here on, the instructions say cursor agent, but we can ignore that. The next step is to pass our PRD file to generate initial tasks. We can do that using this Claude code command, which will run this taskmaster command behind the scenes that ends up using the AI models that you selected earlier. And when that's done, we'll get a tasks JSON file that contains a list of all the tasks that are needed to complete the project, as well as their priority, dependencies, status, and subtasks. And if the passing process didn't break, you should have a list of individual files that have more detail about each task. We can also run the taskmaster list command to get a nice table view of all the tasks and their settings. But you can see complexity is missing. So let's go ahead and fix that by running this command in Claude code. And now we can see each task has a complexity number apart from task one, because it realized the project was already set up. If we scroll down, we can see the most complex task is task 10 with a score of seven. And now we can see which tasks are the most complex. We can help our agents out by creating subtasks from them, which Taskmaster runs in parallel. So back in Claude's code, I can run this command with an argument of 10 which has broken down task 10 into different subtasks, which you can view in the terminal by running taskmaster show 10. So we've done step four. We've kind of done step five by expanding out task 10, but if you wanted to, you could expand every single task into subtasks. And now it's time to tell Claude to begin working on the next task, which we can do by running this command, which tells us that the next step is obviously task two. And so to get started, we simply need to change the status of task two from pending to in progress, which we can do by running this command with this argument. And off it goes doing amazing things. If you wanted to, you could use sub agents to run different tasks based on their dependencies, but I like to use different tabs so I can see what each agent is doing. And that's pretty much it. Just keep running through tasks until they're all done. And by the end of it, you'll have this reaction. Oh, wow, it actually built the app. Look at this copy, handwritten printed screenshots. 
and it's got tips for best results. This is wild. All right, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna click here and, oh yes, we have image upload options. I'm gonna select these images, which let me show you what they are quickly. These are images I've taken a recipe sheets from my kitchen. So here's one and here's the other. So the front and the back, we will do that. And it uploads, we get this nice close button, very impressive. And let's see if it actually works. So we'll hit extract recipe. And oh, okay, so it's done it. We've got, <laughs> wow, okay. It's actually extracted the name correctly. We get this really nice success message. And oh, wow, these are the ingredients. These are the ingredients from the image I took, the images I took in my kitchen. And we have instructions. I mean, this is difficult to read, but look at that, it's got, the full instructions, so heat the frying pan, medium heat, all that stuff. We've got the nutrition value. Wow, okay. So we've got calories, um, fat, carbs, and let's see. So if, what else can we do? We can view the saved recipe, so we can click on that one. So this is saved and we can, we can, we can edit. Wait, let's see. Holy cow, what? 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 <laughs> You can actually edit. You can actually edit the ingredients, the instructions. You can add steps. Does that work? Can, does, does it add? A wow. Okay. Like close steps. Oh, and you can edit all the. <laughs> you can edit all this stuff. And I can hit cancel. All the stuff is still there. I can extract a new recipe. And uh, if I refresh the page and we hit view, it's here. <laughs> The name, date, the ingredients, the steps, all that, all this in one shot, that is wild. It's funny watching that back. Now initially, it may seem like a lot just to get started, but it's amazing how much detail Taskmaster puts into every single task. And the beauty of using it with Claude code is that it obeys all of your hooks. So if you have any linting hooks, any special commands you want to use like bun instead of npm, Claude code takes that all into account. Check out this video to learn more about hooks. Again, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy coding.